Hey, today I'm going to try to explain how to run the command prompt in uh, Windows, and there's a command prompt in pretty much every Windows, Vista, XP, anyway. Uh, to, first to open it, you got to go to the, the start button, and then on XP you'll have uh, something that says run right here, and then you're going to click it and push C and type CMD, enter, but all, on Vista all you got to do is come down here and type CMD, enter and then you'll get a box that looks like this which is your command prompt and once you open it you what I do is I type in CLS which is clear screen so you don't get all that junk at the top you just get that and then basically what the command prompt does is you can locate files and open up stuff you can basically run your computer using it uh, it's kind of a difficult way to do it but I'm sure it's handy somehow but anyway this part right here this right beside where you type in that says C users and then user that's your directory to the command prompt and if you wanna open up a program using this then all you gotta do is type in CD and then enter and then do it again enter until all you can see is that is C and then to get to a file to open up a program or whatever you just type in cd space program files and that will make the directory of your command prompt go to program files and then type it in again cd or no you know what you can just if you want to pro it, once it's open to program files you can type in dir which means directory and if you push enter it will show you every file located in program files which is all your programs you have on your computer so let's see right here's all the programs and if I want so let's like audacity right here if I want to open audacity all I gotta do is type in basically audacity so we're gonna clear screen again cls enter so what I did is type in CLS and cleared screen and then if I want to open audacity just type in audacity oh wait you're gonna type in CD audacity and then it will open up your directory link to program files and audacity and then this is the kind of the tricky part to opening programs you gotta what I do is what I do is type dir, which is directory, and it will show me everything in Audacity, all the directories and stuff. And then to find what you got to type in to open Audacity, you got to find something that ends in .exe. So right here is Audacity.exe. So basically, clear screen again, and then type in Audacity. Yeah, Audacity.exe and then when you push enter it's gonna open up audacity so see right here it just opened up audacity anyway yeah that's how you open files yeah yeah that's how you open files with the command prompt and CLS a couple more things you can do with uh, the command prompt is you can hold on you can also change the color um, to get a list of what you gotta type in to do color all you gotta do is type in color what I do is just type in color Y and enter and it'll give you a list of uh, what numbers do what color like okay when you do the color thing uh, it works like uh, the first number you type in will be the background color and then the second number you type in will be the letter color so if I wanted a blue background I'd type in one for blue background and then for the color or for the letters I type in uh, I want a red letter so I type in four so 14 will be blue background red letters color 14 and there it is and my favorite actually is change it back to black my favorite is actually color because it all it really does is change make the letters more white like watch here see it that's kind of hard to see but it made the letters more bright yeah 
and that's about it for this uh hope you understood it it's kind of hard to get but yeah also with the uh command prompt you can if you want to know your computer's ip address you can type in ip can config and if you push enter it'll give you a list of numbers and letters and stuff just find where it says ip address and right by that it'll say uh numbers and that will be your ip address so when you do get your ip address like if you want to shut down well there's different ways to shut down your computer you can do a bunch of stuff with the uh command prompt to shut down your computer a hard way to shut it down is using your ip address you can type in shut down space hyphen i and that'll give you a box that looks like this and it's the remote shutdown you can it'll actually shut down a computer from wherever you are so you could be on a different computer in a different state or whatever you can still shut down your computer using its IP address I think at least and so like you type your IP address right here that's not a real IP address but that's what it will look like and then you would type or come down here and you can restart it or shut down your computer whichever one it'll give you a time for whenever you want it to shut down and you can post a comment that they'll see when it, that the computer will show up when it shuts down and yeah so you can basically if you know a computer's IP address just add it and you can shut it down yeah and let's see one last thing you can do with an IP address is or not an IP address with the command prompt is you could uh, if you want if you want to know uh, website servers and IP addresses to the website server you can type in trace RT space and then W you can type in a website and I don't really have my internet connected right now so it won't work but if you do have your internet connected you type that or whatever website you want and push enter and it will give you all the computer servers connected to that website or running that website where they're located and all the IP addresses so it's always kinda of fun to look around at and yeah that's that's you can do a lot more stuff with the command prompt but just to sum it all up there's what you can a few things you can do so good luck and See ya.